So thank you very much. So um, I'm very happy to um, to join the scientist conference uh, this year. I would like to share the, my information. Uh, now I'm a researcher and also the, with um, my colleague, Pat Kim Chung. We are from the VNU, uh, Vietnam National University in Hanoi. And now you are working, on, are working at the University of Education. So uh, for today, uh, um, we would like to share the information about the investigation for improvement of STEM uh, education for students majoring in natural um, science pedagogy at VNU University of Science. <clears throat> so, um, so the content I'd like to share with you that for today, we have a, um, four main content I'd like to share with you that. The first of all, about the common improvement of uh, fostering the, the competency um, in STEM education. And also we share about the research methodology and also the, um, the, the new findings from our research and conclusion and discussion. As you know that um, for the STEM uh, education, because um, it's a play important role in, in Vietnam now, because we just train the new natural uh, curriculums, or we can say the, um, the new general uh, natural curriculum uh, from um, 2020. So that's why we have the new uh, subject that's called natural science. Before that, we don't have this subject. We have uh, the physics uh, separately, we have chemistry separately, we have biology subjects separately. But from the 2020, uh, at the middle school, um, at the middle school, we combine, combine them, the physics, chemistry, and biology. That's called uh, the new subject, it's uh, natural science. <clears throat> so now, uh, we focus on the competency in STEM education, because at this moment now, the government of education in Vietnam, we, uh, we focus on factoring the STEM competency. Um, <clears throat> So the, uh, as you know that the competency in STEM education, we have the four factors, awareness of STEM education, and then the design of STEM teaching plan and implementation of the STEM teaching plans and assessment of assessment of STEM education teaching. So uh, uh, this uh, competency in STEM education, I would like to focus on the first one, awareness of STEM education, what we have the knowledge of STEM education, concept, classification, and the benefit from STEM education print, and the understanding the technique design process, and also understanding the scientific research process, the, and also uh, the goodness of STEM education, the background scientific knowledge on different STEM topics, or we can say STEM lessons, and the readiness and enthusiasm for STEM integrated teaching because the STEM here we have to combine the science, um, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And the design of STEM teaching plant and design teaching plan we incorporate the teachers of the other subject in the building STEM topic. And we build the STEM teaching roles and then we select the design STEM based teaching activity and so on, and building learning material for the STEM activity. Here, activity here, I would like to mention here about the, the inside activity and also the outside of the classroom activity. Also. And the build and use equipment to support the STEM activity. And uh, for the implement, uh, um, uh, implementation of the STEM teaching plant, we assigned that to students in a suitable and interesting ways. And also we support students in STEM activities and we organize effective reporting and discussing activity. And we may manage the classroom in STEM education. So the last one, when we deliver the STEM lesson or the STEM topic, we mentioned here the assessment and assessment of STEM teaching plant. And we select and use the objective assessment tool and assess student capacity before and the during uh, after the learning process. That means we observe before and during and after the learning process for students. 
And we determine the appropriate level of learning activity with the student learning activity. A plan the lesson study process to adjust STEM teaching plan. So now I'd like to share with you that the, the fostering competence in STEM education. The content of fostering STEM education competency for pedagogy, student of natural instructor in the four modules in Vietnam. We, we have a module one, that means the current status and solution of STEM education. Because we must train the student, the pedagogy student to become the, the, the future teachers in the science, in the natural science for the middle school student. So we, the modern one focus on the current status and solution for STEM education. And modern two, we design the STEM topic and lessons because not only that every topic in the physics or chemistry or biology, we can design the STEM topic and lesson. So that's why we choose to design STEM topic and lessons for modern two. And modern three, we organize STEM education for K-12 students. And here for natural science, we focus on the um, uh, middle school. And module four, assessment in STEM education for K-12, for K-12. <clears throat> now, I want to share with you that the content of fostering STEM education competency for module one, education STEM current status and solution. So they are nature and characteristic of STEM education. And also we assess that about investigate about the STEM education in the world. And also we join for us, we join the Scientist uh, International Conference here. We would like to share our research. Also, we also learn from you and also learn from the, the STEM education in the world. And then uh, we asked the guests about the current status of STEM education in Vietnam, because I, I said that from 2020, the government of, of Vietnam Ministry of Education uh, already trained the general national curriculums. So we focus on STEM education. So that's why we train from 2020 until now. So that's why we, we are at the University of Education. We must prepare for the uh, pedagogy students, that means uh, pre-service teachers uh, to supply and um, to deliver the lesson um, in natural science. And so orientation of STEM education for the K-12 in, in Vietnam as a moment now. <clears throat> so modern two analysis of the general education curriculum program, as I told you that, because we trained the new one from 2020, and select the science content to integrate into STEM topic and lessons, and identify the real world problems to build the in to STEM topic and lesson and practice designing, practice designing STEM topic and lesson for pedagogy, uh, uh, natural science uh, student. So some modern three, uh, some learning characteristics of the K-12 student. And also we use some popular method in organizing, or we can say that classroom management and also deliver the STEM topic and lesson. And the process of organizing, Organizing STEM topic lesson for K-12 students also. In this case, we also follow by the, the, the 5E and until now updated that 7E, but the 5E style, the format of the 5E to, to deliver the science topic and also in the STEM topic lesson, we also learning from that. <clears throat> and module number four, there's some general issue about the competency assessment and, 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 and academic assessment and it would develop the criteria and assessment tool for STEM topic and lesson. You can conduct regular and periodic assessment. In, in Vietnam, we have the four period. Uh, we have a two, two semester, but for each semester, we have a two term. So that's why we have a four regular periodic assessment. And we invest about the learner feedback. So here, we like to share with you about the research methodology. So, because I, I told you that um, uh, uh, the Ministry of Education in Vietnam, we trained the general uh, natural uh, curriculum from the 2020. So until now we have the, um, the third year student. Also we 
the the study to conduct for the third year student majoring in natural science pedagogy because the next year they they will graduate and they become the teachers in natural science so research content about the stem education competency of student and evaluation of stem education competency training program the training program for student and methodology of the fostering stem education competition for student and we survey its method here we conduct a questionnaire survey for 67 third year student measuring in natural science pedagogy so here i'll just share the the results research results research results here for the assessment of stem education competency of natural science so i like to explain for some uh, we here we um, we divide them into the two level for the blue the level one uh, blue uh, orange level two and gray level three and yellow in that level four that's mean level four that's mean that the the, the maximum that's mean uh, recognize of the stem education and we uh, we see that students already have the basic understand of the stem education at and there is no competence to design STEM student, to pick for student. And uh, 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 so they have uh, graphs, some basic method to organize the STEM education activity for student and the competency to evaluate and adjust student to uh, education plan is very low. Here we see that the, the level one in blue. <clears throat> and also here the result for the evaluation of the content of the fostering STEM education competency. See the student appreciate uh, the importance of content that fosters STEM education competency. So in blue here is nothing necessary and in orange is necessary and gray um, if we need that and really need that really important in, in yellow. So the model one I, I said to you that and then modern two and modern three and modern four i show you before but <clears throat> and then uh, they pay the special attention to stem the design model in this case for the design model and for the method evaluation of the method of the organizing competency building for stem education and here for the blue that's here in this case we see that they research about the understand the STEM and the orange, the watch, the video uh, support for the STEM topic, a STEM lesson. And gray here, that's an um, experiment, academic experiment inside the STEM topic and STEM lesson. And also in general, the practice designed, the topic designed the STEM topic, a STEM lesson. And for in here, in in green, we have the, the experiments of the teaching STEM topic already designed. And also the green, we discussed uh, with the experts about the, the, the method of organizing of STEM education. So now we have the, the result by here, the students are not interested in pulling theoretical research activity and watching videos illustrating that illustrating that the STEM lesson has positive effect on students. And also the experimental experiential learning in STEM topic is active that reserves the most positive reviews. And practicing the STEM team design is a difficult activity for students because they are not familiar with this one because it's very new also. The students are more interested in the, this activity by the working in group so the practice, um, <clears throat> so the practice, uh, the teaching STEM topic is a considered an effective activity to develop the STEM education capacity, and also the discuss with the expert on STEM education is great interest to students. Also, they want to learn more about the new concept and also the new methodology to deliver the integrated uh, topic. It's not only one lesson, specific lesson. Sorry, and the Mr. Lin, se several yeah. minutes. Thank you. Okay, so thank you. The conclusion, the fostering STEM education competency for students of natural science pedagogy should develop according to separate topic or integrated into potential sub subject module suggest 
a teaching method for natural science for K-12 school and develop the general education curriculum and so the teaching integrated. So how to organize, to form, or organize for first thing, the STEM education competency for natural science pedagogy student effectively. Online or in person or hybrid or full-time instructor, or also we invite experts from outside university because they have the experiments from the company and also we, we combine them to deliver the lesson. And also the condition for the effective STEM education competency, the building, such as the basic technical requirement and teaching equipment and STEM practice room also, we also lack the, the condition for the building also enough space for STEM maker or something like that. So thank you for the listening about our research and also those about the, the student in natural science. So thank you very much. If you have any question and you can chat with me and on the chat board, I would like to, to answer and share thank you. more information. So thank you thank very you. much thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Mink, Mr. Dong. Uh, and uh, there are some several questions in the chat, and can I uh, allow them? Uh, and people asking you, uh, may you um, more uh, to, to show more examples, or maybe uh, to hear uh, our, our participants want to hear more uh, about content. Uh, about of model second example of STEM lesson. Can you explain some more? Okay. So here I like to share with you that. <clears throat> so for so for the so here so for the STEM first STEM that mean now. Uh, you know that before that, uh, when we have the separate topic, when we're training for the student, we have a uh, uh, physics, natural, and we have chemistry, natural, and we have biology, natural. But now, only one subject. For the, for them, I like to say that about the topic, um, uh, the subject about energy and changing. So we combine now as, at the beginning now we combine the expert or lecturer from the chemistry and also we uh, me come from the physics education and also we combine together to build up the content the content of the energy energy you know that maybe the mechanic energy um, kinetic energy thermal energy and also chemical energy also and the electric energy and the con so the nuclear energy, so this is why we combine together and to deliver the, this, this, this lesson. And another example on also the building, the, the subject, uh, the earth also, the earth and the sun. So this is why we combine about the uh, ge uh, um, geometry, that means um, geography, natural, and also physics, natural, and also we combine also history, natural, to deliver this subject one so that at this moment now we 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 we, we spend a lot of time and also a lot of people combine together to to view and also the sharing and deliver the lesson for 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 the student the pre-service okay. student